years since the last American soldier officially had their boots on the ground in Afghanistan. So now in 2023, how are those who fought in Afghanistan feeling about the retreat? Our Tom Kowalski wanted to find out. He spoke with a local veteran about his experiences in now Taliban-controlled country. And Tom, how does he feel about the withdrawal? Well, Mike and Eva, after nearly 2,500 American service members killed, many veterans, including Erie native and military veteran Frank Sapinski, feel conflicted about how the 20-year conflict ended. On August 30th, 2021, the U.S. military completed their withdrawal from Afghanistan, ending a 20-year war. Over $2 trillion was spent, and an estimated 800,000 service members served. Frank Sapinski was one of those soldiers. I first arrived in Afghanistan in uh, late November, early December 2001 uh, with an Army Reserve unit here from Erie, Pennsylvania, the 542nd Force Provider. As the theater developed, we had split up some of our folks and we had people in uh, Mazar Sharif, in Bagram, and down in Kandahar. Sapinski says while he feels military superiors could have made the withdrawal much cleaner, he's glad we got American troops out of Afghanistan. At a strategic level, I can't say what the planners were thinking. I'm glad that we no longer have any more of America's sons and daughters in harm's way. As a senior NCO, I can't tell you how that makes me feel that these uh, sons and daughters, like I say, are no longer in harm's way in Afghanistan. But with the Taliban now in control, what does Sapinski have to say to other veterans who may feel that their service was in vain? We had to pull the Band-Aid off quickly. If we pulled it off slowly, we were still going to keep bleeding. In order to heal, we had to get out of there quickly. Who am I to say it was wrong? Who am I to say it was right? It needed to happen. Now, the Taliban takeover of the country occurred just two weeks before the last American soldier officially left Afghanistan. Live in the studio, Tom Kowalski, Erie News Now. Tom, thanks.